Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about software engineers who will always have a hard time finding a job. So let's get into it. So the question, on, the question in question was, Frederick, what types of software engineers will always have difficulty finding jobs? Well, I would say first and foremost the inexperienced ones that's number one if you are inexperienced that's not good and the second is going to be the people who are disproportionately has they have a disproportionate skill to experience ratio let me explain that a little bit so if you are bad at solving coding challenges and you're bad at solving logic on demand and like being in a testing environment or something like that where people are asking asking you to perform to so that they can evaluate you if that stresses you out or it makes you uh, it, it stresses everybody out but if it stresses you out to the point where you can not perform then you're always going to have a tough time finding a job because that is the proving process where you need to make the recruiter or the company feel as if you know what you're doing and there's no real other, there's no other way people assess that apart from the coding tests and having you build something for them and it is a pre i mean it, there is a pressure to it all and if you buckle under that pressure that's usually going to lead to something bad for you but what's even okay, what's pretty much up there as well is the developers who have a disproportionate amount of experience to uh, uh, to skill where I've seen developers who have, or rather they claim at the very least, to have seven, eight, ten years of experience, and they can't, like, they, they turn in coding challenge solutions that, I mean, I, I can't even understand how how it how it happened I, I don't even understand if they know what they're doing where we're talking about there are junior I've had like the vast majority of junior developers uh, that I've worked with understood this code test the first day like the, immediately they solved it and this is I'm not and this is not like just the top brass like we're not talking about super geniuses like they're very clever people everybody all of them are clever people but we're not talking about extraordinary kids here we're talking about like uh, some of them were completely self-taught some of them were college graduates some people had worked before like there were there was a range of people and they understood immediately what this was all about and I've had senior developers who have been, according to them, working for years and years and years, produce things that are so out of what would be normal. Even the junior developers felt that this was kind of weird. That we, I mean, there was a massive risk. They could have missed. They could, of course, have misunderstood. But the company, the like, the company at the time that I was working for, like they, they're not going to take that risk. Nobody's going to take that risk. And that's a dangerous thing because if you don't understand how the vast majority of people will solve a given problem or if you do something re really funky like really out there without you knowing that people will get the fact that this is actually really clever or maybe you just think it's clever and it's actually not if you don't if you have lost connection with how most software is being written that then you will fail a lot 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 I uh, we've had candidates who came in and insisted on making a JSON uh, the, the, the entire task was we're just gonna make a JSON request grab some data and then form I uh, put it in the right shape that's it that's the whole thing and they ins they insisted on using C to do that and the motivation was because they just like see more and we said oh, okay sure you yeah, absolutely you you're absolutely allowed to do that but it probably will be easier for you because the focus is to solve this problem not to show us that you know how to use C and they like but that's what that's it and okay and then they tried and they couldn't do it and we didn't have more time so there goes the job to the next candidate who could actually do it and they lost that opportunity to go further in the process because they 
Like, it could, I mean, it could have been that they just didn't know any other language, and that sucks, but that's the recruitment process. We only have a certain amount of hours to determine if you're going to be a better fit than another candidate, and you're not going to get an endless amount of time to, to solve the problem, and that's the way it goes. So, at least what I believe is that the people who will always struggle to find a job is one part of the people who do, like, who have problems just understanding how to get through the recruitment process. And that, that's always going to be an issue for you. You're always going to be stopped there if you don't understand what it is that the recruiters and the companies are looking for. And I'll give you a hint, guys. They're just trying to figure out if you know how to solve the problems. Do you understand how to write an algorithm? Do you understand how to make a network request and grab some data and do something or like build something? They're not looking to be schooled in how awesome you are or be impressed by how amazing you are at a specific language necessarily or they're not it's not usually about trying to figure out if uh, if you are like a super coder or something like that they want to look for cracks in the armor if there's any red warning flags that can you do this so by by putting yourself in a situation where you i don't know force yourself to use strictly functional programming in Haskell when the, th the problem we're going to solve is uh, like fairly trivial is it putting that restriction on yourself it's it's just something you're doing to yourself the recruiter like like they might not even care and that's always going to be a problem for a lot of software developer the other part is going to be the software developers who can perform once they're in who are who have a lot of experience but don't actually seem to measure up to that experience. They're going to have a hard time, like actually keeping the job, because they're not produ like the the perception is or the expectation is that they should be better than they actually are. And if they can't meet those expectations, that's going to turn out poorly for them. So what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me, the people who always or the software developers who always have a problem and always going to are going to have a problem finding a job is number one, the people who have a really hard time getting through a recruitment process, either through being way too nervous or not knowing all that much about data structures or algorithms, uh, algorithms or not knowing how to do the common tasks that we do in software development. Uh, or people who have like an under have like a really really far out idea of what to do in certain circumstances, and they don't really they seem to have lost touch with how mainstream programming is being done in most companies, and they are also going to find it really hard because nobody's going to let a person who writes code that is so weird and out there into their company They're, when they evaluate it. The other type of person is going to be the sort of people who have. Uh, who have lower skills than expectation. In other words, they're uh, either really, really senior, but they code like they started coding yesterday, or like they're like uh, fairly like sort of junior, and they can basically not produce any code. It's uh, it's about expectations that you should be able to produce at a decent enough rate, depending on how m much time you spent in the industry. And this is also dependent on, as I said, how long have you been in there. It, the idea is that you should be more and more stable the more years you have and you should be able to get up to speed faster the more years you have and if you don't perform well then your employer is going to feel bias remorse have a great day